How you doing guys? Matt Walden, Pro Drifter, and today we're here with Mishimoto and the Nissan 370Z. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little bit of, little secret here. They're developing a direct fit oil cooler kit for this car, and let me tell you, I have a 350Z, you guys know that. 370Z definitely needs the oil cooler as well. We saw over 30 degrees in drop in oil temperature at cruising. That's just at cruising. Imagine what it can do for you when you're heavy on the gas. So let's go, let's check it out. I'll show you guys what's going on in Mishimoto. These are the final production brackets for the G37 as well as 370Z. If you're installing this on the 370Z, you're gonna use the large bracket as well as the larger of the two smaller brackets. On the G37, you'll be using the large bracket as well, but the smaller of the two brackets. To install the Mishimoto Direct Fit Oil Cooler Kit for the 370Z, you will need a panel tool, Teflon tape, hex key set with a five millimeter hex key, ratchet, 10 millimeter socket, and most likely a quart of oil. Difficulty is about a three out of five. Installation should take about an hour. First step, make sure it's in park and or the parking brake is set and jack up the front end. Next step is to remove the lower panel from the car and there is a lot of fasteners that hold this together. A lot of these are pop clips, some are 10 millimeter head screws. Let's go ahead and get all of these undone. Next step, remove the bumper. Take this sweet panel tool here, get up underneath of all these little pop clips, pull them out of place. Keep in mind, this guy has the Nismo arrow. It's not gonna change too much in the grand scheme of things, but just so you guys know at home, it might be a little bit different from what you guys are working with. All right, now that we have the bumper off, we're ready to assemble the sandwich plate portion of things. And a couple of key notes with the sandwich plate here is there is a couple temperature sensor and pressure sensor ports on the sandwich plate. If you have aftermarket gauges, these are where you want to put it. This car that we're working on, however, does not have these. Mishimoto supplies plugs with this. Make sure you Teflon tape them and screw them in to the sandwich plate adapter. Next step is to install the oil filter block O-ring seal. Make sure this is properly seated in the Mishimoto machine groove there. Next step, assemble the Mishimoto banjo fitting with seals on the top and the bottom of the fitting. and locate the proper adapter for your car. For the 370Z, you're gonna use the one without the hash marks around the hex portion of the adapter. All right, we're just about to put the sandwich plate on. First, we gotta remove the old oil filter. Make sure that you have a drain pan ready. Typically, a little bit of oil will come out of here. It looks like we're getting lucky on this one. Yep. Grab a little bit of oil off the old oil filter and just lubricate this O-ring before that goes on. Oil filter block sits right like so. And remember the adapter piece we selected earlier without the tick marks? That's the one we want to use on this. That goes directly in the center. Next step is to grab your 27 millimeter socket here and wrench down on that 
center nut that's gonna hold this whole sandwich plate deal in, in place. At this time, you can tighten up the banjo nuts as well. And they're the same size. And we're just about ready to put the lines and the mounts on. This is what makes the 370Z Direct Fit Oil Cooler Kit so sweet. Mishimoto has designed this awesome bracket that bolts directly on the car, makes their oil cooler a direct fit for the 370Z. Before we get started, what we're gonna do is bolt the oil cooler right to the bracket using the supplied hardware. That way we don't have to do it when it's on the car. This is the part where you speed this up, like times 11. Now keep in mind the brackets that we're using here today are prototypes. The final brackets that you will be supplied with your kit may look a little bit different and they'll be powder coated metal ones. All right, before we get the lines on, what we're gonna do is put the other bracket on and this goes directly like this. You guys can see that at home. And this one we're gonna leave loose until the final installation. All right, now when installing the lines and your oil cooler is orientated in this direction, you want the longer line to be on this side of things, shorter line on this side. You'll notice that the lines that come in the kit are about a foot difference in length. The 90 degree turn on the line goes to the oil cooler. These should also be left loose until installed in the car. Install the clips with the threaded portion of the clip towards the back of the vehicle in these two locations on the front end of the vehicle. After those are on, we're ready to bolt the whole assembly up. Using Mishimoto supplied hardware, bolt it to the two clips that you just installed. And the third one, goes right in the middle here, right in the center of the vehicle. Once everything is installed, go ahead and tighten up all the hardware and tighten up the lines as well. As far as routing of the stainless steel braided lines, make sure they follow this power steering cooler line right into the engine bay. Now, for you folks at home, make sure your lines are routed above this metal beam right here. That way they can drop right down and connect to the oil filter area. After you get everything connected, go ahead and tighten up all your hardware and your fittings. Look at these swanky drop engineering motor mounts. Those things are awesome. Anyway, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Next, reinstall a new oil filter. All right, after all your fittings are tightened up, go ahead and start the car. You only want to start the car for a second to get oil flowing through all the lines and through the oil cooler. At this time, also check to make sure there's no leaks in the system. An oil cooler is something that must be maintained. If you're gonna race the car, if you're gonna have an oil cooler on, you definitely wanna maintain it, which means leak checking it during every oil change. Before you wrap things up, double check that you don't have any oil leaks in the system and double check the oil level. Don't be surprised if you have to add another quart or so. See, it's already low. Time to add a quart.
And now it's time to reinstall the bumper. Reinstall the bumper, replace the pop clips in the front and the screws at the fender area. This is Matt Walden signing off. Enjoy your Mishimoto products.